Hello everyone, I'm Akabane101 and I'm back. I just uh, had to stop the video making for a moment there just so I could upload some or the first four chambers and we are in chamber number five. It's quite crazy how the first four videos are the first four chambers, but hey, whatever and um, looks like Fraps is doing pretty good right now, so hop. Okay. Oh, oh, I remember the first time that this happened, it scared the crap out of me when this thing just started randomly going down, and this is when the game gets tricky. If you guys are wondering, yes, the game just got black, pretty much. You, it basically becomes something where you can't see anything. This transition now, of you can see light up there, now we're going complete darkness. And the music actually starts appearing here. This is when the game starts to shine, I believe, and uh, it's still practically kind of difficult. It's it's it becomes even more difficult. Just that's what I'm saying here. It's becoming now retardedly difficult, and that's uh, <laughs> and the fun kind of grows, and so does the uh, the difficulty. As you can see, all the blocks are now neon, and this is only the start of all the craziness about to happen. Well, this is where the game starts to get its character, where um, <clears throat> everything just starts to happen, and as you can see, these white blocks are here to light up the room, just barely. And as you can see, if I press this power button, like so, I get to see the red. If I press this power button, I see the blue. Let's turn that guy down, and if I see the yellow, I get to see it like so. So how about we extend the red like so, and let's see if the blue will be blocked by that. It looks like it should not be, so we're going to do this. And we're going to click on the yellow. As you can see, I can't see anything below me. And wow, this is actually, it's really cool actually doing puzzles in the dark. I, I don't think really any game has done that where the puzzles are literally in pitch black. And all you got is, um, like, you have the ability of choosing these colors. And yes, the, uh, the block of death right here is now here to make us uh, rip out our hair. <laughs> this is when things become slightly more difficult, and I did not mean to do that, but uh, that was just a reset button. So I believe what we want to do is just move this guy out a little bit. So how about we go one and two. Uh, let's just see here, oh perfect. And I believe what we want to do is just this. Make ourselves a little bit of staircase like before. I don't think uh, anything else is required. Oh, well, I guess that works. And let's hop over. <clears throat> but yeah, the uh, the game is definitely very beautiful like it is right now. I think, like I, I know I've just said this a million times, but this is really, really, really where the game starts to shine. Um, and it even gets more difficult from here. Uh, and you'll see that, but I won't spoil it um, as to how it gets more difficult. Now as you can see, purple, you remember purple, our good old friend purple blocks, uh, which allow us to turn the... The tides of battle, the, the tur loves it to turn the wall. My mouse is obviously messing up here. And uh, of course, uh, we have all our lovely things to deal with. So this one's just us trying to get ourselves up to the location that we need to go to. Uh, this guy here, of course, I believe is attached to the purple guy. I think what we're trying to do <coughs> is, uh, in fact, get ourselves under this blue thing so we can hop over to the yellow thing. So let's uh, activate that guy. I think you have to be able to see this stuff too, right? To be actually understand what it is. As you can see, my hand goes black when I go over the red guy. So therefore, you can't control him. If there's no power to it, nothing, it won't work. Is basically what I'm saying. And as you can see, the yellow guy's over there. So we're gonna try and hop on the blue guy and pray that we hit the yellow guy. Oh, and of course, we uh, fluff up. Uh, aha, uh, okay, so this could work. Nope. There we are. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, so the other guy is right crossed, so I'm kind of hoping this will work. Ah, oh, I'm so close to it. I'm so close, man. I'm so close. Hmm. What if we just do this? Where's the red guy? I can't see crap. Okay, <laughs> and don't worry, YouTube. I know you guys can't see anything either. I know you, all you guys can probably see is the glowing lights, of course. And let's continue on. Oh boy, <laughs> uh, I can't see anything, but oh god, <laughs> I totally disoriented myself like that. Wow. Okay, where's my red guy? You were there. 
Okay, so it looks like I can't do that. I because the the guy's actually right against the wall. If you compare him to these white things here, so it looks like I'll have to actually just move him back down to where he was originally. And I think I guess we are just trying to hop onto that blue thing. I'm just really bad at platforming, of course. <clears throat> Makes me feel sad. But anyway, um, let's click on the blue guy again. Please, please work. Please let me jump on you. Oh, suck it. All right. Let's hop up on the yellow here. Perfect. We did it. Excellent. We're doing decently well. And these videos will progressively get longer until we get multiple parts. And oh, I remember this one. Oh, God. This is just... This this part right here, guys, is what makes grown men cry. Um, as you can see, all you have is the visual cue of up here, and then you have to deal with these red guys, these yellow guys, these green guys. And what we're trying to do is get this green cube all the way up, well, to its position that it needs to go to. It's not exactly the most, and it's not the, exactly the easiest thing to do, um, as some would say. <clears throat> as you can see, there is now red guys over here, and trust me, I have almost no idea what I'm doing. So, let's try this. Ah, okay, I think I, I think I already get it now, to be quite honest with you guys. Uh, I want to lift this guy up one, and lift this guy up one. And you see how the middle one there extrudes twice? Oh, suck it. And as you can see, the green guy looks a little bit scary <laughs> in his position. Um, and then we'll just raise this guy up one, I believe, because that's how we want... No, 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 no. Hmm, maybe we do want to raise him up one. Okay, so do that, and then we'll go to yellow, and we'll extrude this one again like so. As you can see, the green one's now there, and it's on the red guy here, so we'll just pull him back. Oh, suck it. I'm so incredibly amazing. I'm quite actually happy I could remember that one, because you guys have been... Uh, if anyone, I'm actually going to link you guys my cube playthrough that I did on my live stream that I did for not very long. It was probably up to the end of this one here. Um, maybe the one after, but to be quite honest, I kind of get stuck a lot of the times. Um, but yeah, you'll see that it's like an hour and 30 minutes maybe long, and I probably make, made a lot, of bit of shame, a lot of shameful things happen when I was playing uh, my live stream. So I think I'll try and link that in the description in the first thing. Uh, whatever, don't worry about it. Okay, we're just gonna <laughs> continue playing some more uh, quick understanding of cubes. Wait, a block extrusion. Yes, block extrusion. Any other green one? I mean, blue ones to look for? At least my gloves sort of like to uh, light up the area a little bit so I can see where my hands are. Jeez. And there's the bl uh, the block. And the thing is, is that we don't need this block to go anywhere. So basically all this block is here for is to allow us to get up, I guess. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, so maybe if I move this guy left, like so, uh, and he'll be there, okay. Um, maybe I want to try and use this green block to hop up onto that thing, so let's do this. And let's, ooh, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, um, now where's the green block? Where's the blue guy? Okay, as you can see, the green block's right down here. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'll be able to hop up on that guy, and what I need to do is make it so this this guy is going to be over here, I believe. So as you can see, if I jump here, I'll be able to use the green block, which I'm standing on, to hop up to this guy. Giving it a shot! Ah, oh, fail. Okay, maybe if I just move it up one more. There we go. Maybe that'll do it for me. It's always nice when you can actually see things, isn't it? Okay. Uh, oh, joy. Oh, joy. Yes! Got it. Okay, there we go. And let's just move this guy over like so. Easy transport. Thank you very much, game, for being awesome. And now I think we get to the ball part. <laughs> oh, boy. Balls are just so unfun. <laughs> uh, well, in this puzzle game, I guess, because it just becomes more and more difficult. Okay, uh, basically what we want to do is have this ball which will appear. And I need to press the green guy. Um, go up this hole. <laughs> okay. I know that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? 
Okay, let's just do this and help it guide itself in. Two, three. Ah, oh, it was so easy, Akbane. What are you talking about? It's like the easiest thing ever. Oh, well, now they added the yellow guy. And so they'll keep adding more and more guys and making us really, really angry because <laughs> we're going to keep messing up. As you can see, the blue, uh, sorry, the ball is here. So you guys remember that one in, I think, chest chamber, test chamber two or three, where we're doing the downhill slope? This is the exact same thing, but in the dark. And it's not the same. It's a little bit different, but basically the exact same idea is what I meant to say. So our ball is there. And all we need to do is guide this guy up, like so. So let's turn this guy on. There we are. As you can see, the ball is now stuck in the middle. And all we need to do is lift him up, like so. Hopefully he doesn't roll off on his own. He has done that in the past, and it's very, very mean when he does that. Uh, okay. <clears throat> let's see here. No purple yet, which is nice. Oh, yes. Very nice. Now I'm quite curious as to why I need this thing. Uh, I need to bounce it. Ah, okay. I get it. Um, now, where's my green guy? Okay, so I want to push him over. Like so. Hmm. And I want to push this guy out because the blue guy is actually right in front of him, isn't he? Of course. So, I need to... This is really, really, really tedious right now. <laughs> Okay, 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 we got this, guys, we got this, okay. Uh, okay, so put this guy out. Ooh, crap. Okay. And we'll push him like so. Where's the green guy now? Of course this red guy doesn't like me. So let's put it like here. Okay. Um, and I think this will do it. Because the momentum of this ball actually rolling this way will actually bounce forward. And I think we shouldn't have any issues. So let's just give it a shot. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Very solid. Ah, and then this is the part where it really, 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 really sucks. And I'm just going to take a drink, drink of my ginger ale because I know things are, go are going to go really wrong. This is where we have... What is it? Okay, so we have this. And we have this. I think this is uh, on my live stream probably took at least 10 minutes to 20 minutes to do. So... <laughs> Bear with me if I mess it up. As you can see, there's this ball here. The walls can spin around, which change to, uh, these guys to switch around and all that jazz. And I believe I could probably trap the ball. This is, uh, remember what I said about trapping? Trapping balls is the no number one way to play this game. Uh, we need to trap this ball. So as you can see, like so, the ball is there. Uh, and what we need to do is trap him. So let's do it like so. Because trapping balls is the way you're supposed to do things. Not tripping balls. Trapping balls. And like so. <clears throat> As you can see, the ball should be on the red guy, right? Excellent. So now the ball is trapped. Cool. As you can see. So now we have it contained. Um, and now what we need to do is find a way to make it so this ball will not, you know, leave and go in the wrong spot. What we want to do is have it kind of roll into this guy here, right? Um, only problem is that the ball is here, and we kind of want it to go upwards on the staircase kind of thing into here. And this is where things get really tricky, because then I don't understand where everything is at one time. Um, which is why I trapped the ball, because I'm awesome. So you can see the ball is there. So what's going to happen if I turn it one more time, like so? Where is everything going to be? That guy's going to be like so. But where's the red guys? Okay. So maybe we should turn him back. As you can see, the ball's like so. We're going to release the ball to the yellow guy. Okay. And then we're going to try something like so. So, and see if it works. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this feels so good when I get that right. Yes. That was actually really good. That was like my first try. Sweet. <laughs>